Hi everyone, today is Monday, December 15th, 2014, and the terrible hostage situation is over, over in Sydney, Australia, where this one Iranian man, an Iranian refugee, known for sending hate mail to the families of Australian soldiers killed overseas and facing several charges of sexual assault, is the armed man holding an unknown number of hostages in a city, in a Sydney cafe, in the Lent Chocolate Cafe, actually. And this here, he was, they bomb rushed him. In other words, they all ran in and they took him down. We don't know if he's actually dead yet or if there, how many people are injured through all of this. But the situation is over. He had made some threats about some bombs, but they haven't found any as of yet. This is another sign we're nearing the end of days. On my channel, we show the spiritual side of all of this. Islam will be a big part of the new world order coming. Jesus Christ is the Son of God risen from the dead. All of Islam cannot even say that. Islam does not believe that Jesus Christ was the Son of God, and they don't believe that he was risen from the dead. In the Bible, that is the definition of an antichrist. Anyone who denies that Jesus is the Son of God risen from the dead is an antichrist. Islam will be an antichrist religion. Now, one of the things you need to know about Jesus in the Bible is Jesus is running everything. Jesus is going to let Islam terrorize and destroy a big part of the world, even with Russia and China and North Korea and Britain. It's called the Great Deception, and Jesus Christ has all of them actually even prepared. The Islam is going to be the perfect type of Great Deception coming, and they will persecute the world. They, It's part of what's going on. Well, this was all symbolism of the end of days coming and the giant event that I keep showing on my channel. L the Lit Cafe is the dragon. See the dragon right here? So the people were saved from the dragon and then they were saved from the Islamic guy. In the Bible it says that we are waiting on a grievous head wound to the dragon. Then it will rise up. That's what just happened. Here is the Lint Chocolate Cafe, right there. See that there? You see how the park has the two domes as we continuously keep showing? When we show when this head wound event happens, see the two domes here and when this phoenix rises? And then the red bull of the apocalypse is off and running with the great deception coming. See there? When, the Ameri when America, the USA, is hit with this giant cataclysmic event coming, this nuke back here. It's all in the Bible to happen. Trust Jesus Christ. All of Scripture will be fulfilled, the good and the bad, perfectly. So there's the Lent Cafe, and we can see actually right here that this represents this large bull. See the large bull coming? See perfect by each line? And then you can see the two domes ready to go. See the leopard representing Obama right here? Obama's seen as the leopard in the Bible. And the two domes ready to go. This is the grievous head wound. And then the red bull will be running. This is how we are set free. This is what I keep trying to tell everybody. This is the rapture right here when the USA is blown up. That's the rapture. Lot was taken out when Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed. It's going to happen just like that again. This hangs in the Denver Inter International Airport, made by the Freemasons. It shows all of the USA on fire. These ten horns represent ten nations that will betray the USA. And the secret government of the USA will let it happen. Here's Obama, the cat, the leopard, fallen. It's the end of the time of the blue, the time of Jacob. Now the red rises in Esau. Over here with this phoenix, this woman is caught away in a type of rapture. When we escape from the dragon, exactly as this, exactly as the hostages were set free, but it was a giant gun battle, just like when the two domes go. See the two domes right there? You can't fake this. It's just too perfect. And then you have the, the dragon right there. There's going to be an awful lot of people that will say this was even fake, that will say that all of this, this giant hostage situation was fake. It's the new cool thing to do for conspiracy theorists. They call everything fake nowadays. It doesn't matter even if it was fake. Do you see this right here? You have to go the next step. Why was it faked? What does it mean? What was the motive for it? 
Instead, everybody just goes, oh, it's fake. It, it doesn't matter, real or not. Look, here's the big bull coming. You see that? This is in the, in the United Nations. It shows this giant egg as a nuclear event coming. And then the dead rising over here through this cabinet to heaven. And over here, the white horse is getting ready to ride. And they get this sword for World War III coming. That's what all of this is. Human nature is going to be to laugh about this, to joke about this, to have fun about this hostage situation, and then to debate and quarrel, but to never step up and say, oh my goodness, this could be like World War III coming. Don't forget this. L watch how easy this is. Islam says that Jesus Christ is just a prophet. They say God's name is Allah. 90% of Christians don't even argue with them. They will even start saying, well, I've had Christians come up to me and argue, literally. Well, Allah is just another name for God. No, it's not. Jehovah is God. Jehovah has a son. His son is Jesus Christ, the son of God risen from the dead. Jehovah has many sons. Allah has no son. It is written on the top of every single mosque. Allah has no son. Allah cannot even beget a son. So that's their God. Satan. Our God is Jehovah. And he has a son, the Son of God risen from the dead. And anybody who denies that is an Antichrist. But most Christians cannot even tell these simple things. They do not even realize that it is Jesus Christ that is going to let Islam run a big part of the world and the great deception of the Bible that's coming. So you're not going to get rid of Islam. There you go. That's what that represents. Being set free. We are getting ready to be set free from the dragon. It will take the grievous head wound event. This is us being set free. This giant nuke coming. See the phoenix rising? See that phoenix? See the phoenix rising? Right here? May God have mercy on us all. So that's what all of this meant right here. Confess with your mouth. The Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Now let's go over to Mecca real quick and show that they are not. They, they're with Satan. This is Mecca, where they go around the black stone. See this box cover for the Illuminati? When you read it backwards, it says, It, animal, I. He's the beast. See this clown up here, this big red bull coming for the fifth age, the age of judgment? He's bankrupting the USA. He will even have the cure for Ebola. And he brings this idol worship as the USA is destroyed. See, this represents the USA and the side of the blue as the eagle flies away in a rapture. And then the red side rises. Britain, North Korea, Russia, the side of Esau, and the deceivers all coming. See that clown up there? See Mecca right here where they go around the black stone? See the clown right here? There he is. See his mouth? He's sucking on the worship that they give to this black stone. He represents the red bull. There he is, and he's actually even cutting people's heads off with this knife. Right there. There it is. For 42 months this will be going on when the USA and the Vatican are hit. And then Russia and the Russian Orthodox Church and Britain and Prince William, all of them rise up for this great deception coming. May God have mercy on us all as we escape from the dragon in that giant cataclysmic event. Thank you very much, everybody. May God have mercy on us all. This is also shown in Washington, D.C. This is also shown all over Australia. This is also shown in Britain, Germany, Russia, China, everywhere. All of the world gives its power to the beast. Thank you very much, everybody. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus, risen from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah.